Hey everyone, welcome back to Stack Stacks, where we serve you bite-sized insights into the world of AI and technology. I'm John Swicky, and today we're going to dive into a question that I've been spending a lot of time on. You know, can AI inside of our productivity apps help us, right? So, you know, we're going to ask that question of basically what happens when you kind of layer in you know, artificial intelligence inside those, inside those apps, right? Can you make your to-do list be more helpful? Can it help you take more action items on it? Can it help you be a better note taker? So we're going to ask those questions and we're going to ask, you know, is there anything to this? Is it worth the extra money and see where it can help us and see where it could provide us some value. So grab a snack and let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to look at two apps today. We're going to look at an app called Capacities, and then we're going to look at Notion. So I have two notes up in both apps. Both have the same data, and I figured we can just kind of try to kind of work with the, work with the notes a little bit. So let's start off with Capacities. So the way Capacities works, so also full disclosure, I'm, I'm actually paying for a month of of their paid plans just to just to kind of demo these things out so all the things that uh we're going to go through today are behind a um, monthly fee so capacities um they have this little ai assistant button up here so we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to looks like we're going to add this note as context so it looks like the ai assistant is kind of a GPT three and a half wrapper. So, okay. And it looks like it's just kind of, a, yeah, just kind of a chat window. So, all right, so let's add the full context of this, this data. So it looks like it's going to maybe, maybe, maybe train on this. So let's, we'll start asking some questions here. Can you provide, can you give us some data on chat GPT speech? Okay. So that's kind of cool. It looks like it took kind of took my document and then broke it down into some bullet points. So that's kind of nice. Can you give me a summary of the chat T data? See if I can just summarize this. Looks like it's almost doing it in the exact same way as above, pretty much. Okay. I mean. It's kind of nice. Let's see if we have any anything hidden behind some menus here that we can get into. Well, that's generating. At least you can ask AI, which looks like it's just this this window. Okay, so it'll give us a little summary again. Of, all right, let's move my face over the other side. Okay, so this one is on three bullet points. This one had five, so it was slightly different. Let's see. Can you write a blog post based on data? Okay, and we, you know, we won't get into the quality of writing. I just want to see how, kind of how well it is. It's what, yeah, learning our information. So, all right. All right. So, kind of feels, feels nice to kind of have, it looks like we can just append that <clears throat> right to our document. That's pretty nice. All right. So let's just get rid of that for now. Can you compare the chat GPT data to other early trends in technology? I don't know. Let's just see what that says. Hey, right, actually, that's kind of the answer I was kind of hoping for. Okay. So, you know, I kind of like how capacities kind of handles it how you can kind of train i mean essentially if, if i'm understanding all of this correctly and uh, you know it's about 4 a.m where i am right now so bear with me it looks like you give it some data for some context and then you can kind of start talking with it start kind of conversing with it you know this this little outline would give me something if i was kind of writing out a paper or, or a blog post on comparing different technology waves to, you know, AI and the usages and who are early adopters and who, you know, 
does the trends fit where younger people start to use it and then over time, which, you know, which is this is kind of sad. And then maybe I can go a little deeper and ask it to maybe give us, let's actually, let's ask one more question here. Can you give us some usage data streaming services? All right. I forgot to ask it too much of a, too much of a recent question. Can you give us some usage? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. This is cool. So I right clicked on the text that I appended to my note and accidentally, and it did say that it was generated by AI. So that's, that's kind of, that's kind of nice. Generate by it. So I could definitely see, I could definitely see this being, being useful, especially you don't have to pop out. You don't have to, you know, study, you know, you don't have to kind of pop up chat GBT. You can kind of, you know, bring it into your, bring it into your workflow. I do love the training on your notes. It looks like you have to do it manually. It'd be cool if you could kind of have it look at your whole, your whole kind of folder, your whole kind of, you know, project, if you would. But yeah, this is, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. And I'm sure, like I said, over time, I think they could, they'll probably, you know, the training on your notes is, is kind of the secret sauce here. So I can see them kind of allowing the training on your whole, your whole document. All right, so let's head over to Notion. And again, this is the same document we were looking at in capacities, just a, just a little piece of data. So I believe in, oh, in Notion, we can just kind of highlight our text and we can ask it, let's see, explain this. Let's see what this does. Okay, so you kind of get, I might get it like a, a mini summary as it's all right so let's throw that out let's see what else we can ask ask oh, ask ai so we get a couple of successions here improve writing fix spelling and grammar make shorter make longer change tone okay that's nice simplify language summarize explain this find action items all right let's see what find action items does okay for something that I didn't think would have too many. Let's do simplify language. This would be interesting because it is from some research. Okay. Okay. Right. It made some changes. It made some changes. All right. So let's discard this. Let's see what else we can do here. Okay. So let's see. Draft a social media post about this text. Let's see if that works. Hey, all right, that's pretty cool. Seems usable. Job description, recruiting email, to-do list, poem. Okay. Generate salsa. I think if we get table going, I think we can actually get some more. All right, sorry, I'm drifting off here a little bit. Okay, so in a, in a table, we get a couple more options. It doesn't, you know, it kind of does feel like, I like how it's just kind of contextually in the app. And there's a lot of other great Notion videos, so we won't go too deep into this because there's some really good content out there. Um, and you get some options, you get some commonly used things. Um, pros and cons list about um, a vegan diet. Let's just see what it does. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So it just kind of said that I asked it a question that was not about to the relevant text that was highlighted. So that's interesting. So, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I, the, you know, there's definitely some helpful, a little more helpful kind of presets, if you would, in Notion. You know, like, like there's some, you know, database options. There's some, you know, explain this, expand this, summarize this. So there's a couple of really helpful things that are like one click away, which I think is a little bit nicer than capacities, but it does, yeah, just interesting that, you know, does it, do certain features stand out like, right, depending on your use case, right? Like, so like I can see dumping in some meeting notes into this and then using the, you know, to find the action items, you know, I, item, I mean, a preset 
to kind of help help streamline those things. Definitely, uh, you know, kind of in, in the improve the writing. Sometimes, if you don't love a love a sentence, if you're, if you're writing up a blog post or something, but yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I think you know, you know, Notion's paid plan for AI. I think it's about ten bucks a month. Capacities, I want to say, is a little bit larger. Like I think twelve dollars a month. You know, there's it. It definitely feel they feel nice to have. They feel nice to to kind of be there. And I think that, you know, if you're spending all your day in Notion, it, it's I can see I can see this being compelling. And the same thing with any you know kind of any other app, right? They can kind of speed you up a little bit. You know, cut some corner. You know. Not cuts, not cut corners, but get to get to your answers faster. You know, there's definitely going to be value there, and I think too we're going to see, you know, AI being kind of like the subscription add-on for a lot of these apps. So, you know, there'll be a plan plus the ten dollar a month AI add-on. There'll be, you know, the AI tier, right? And you know, I think, you know, it's tough for me because I use a bunch of different apps, so that's hard. But if you're spending, uh, like, a lot of your time in there, I think it's definitely worth trying out. Um, you know, I think I'd like to see a little bit more. And, you know, I I don't, you know, I would still love something to kind of learn the whole, the whole, my whole base, if you would. Like, I want to know, I want something to know every document in my Notion I want to be able to, you know, kind of use that chat interface, use that other thing to kind of, you know, kind of have that more, you know, hey, show me all my notes about, you know, chat GPT, show me all my notes about Bard, show me all my notes about, and again, I know this is, some of this is just a, a search, a search functionality, but then like, you know, let's get, let's include this piece into that. You know, being able to kind of, kind of like capacities, like I wanted to, I wanted to learn on my, on my knowledge base, but want to have access, accessibility to all of that, you know, in, in here. But, you know, I think, you know, I think these, these are, these are good, you know, early iterations and I can't wait to see what's next or if somebody has some new features out there. I think also to like generating folder structures and tags is also another pain point. Like I don't want to manage all of the I don't want to manage the data, the knowledge base that's hopefully managing all of my notes. So if there's like some built-in management features that AI can bring into it, I think that would be something that would be super compelling for me. So, um, all right, that's about it for today. So Notion AI, Capacities AI, you know, we looked at some AI in our note-taking apps, what it can do. You know, if anyone's using using these things, let us know. I'd love to see some some different ideas, some new templates, things like that. So let us know. And thanks for joining me today, everybody. We'll see you next time.